Hey everybody, I want to talk to you today about a very common issue. This is being on a winning team. So you've actually participated in a proposal process. You've won some work with a team. You're, pro you're a sub in this situation and you're not getting any work. So think about that for a moment. You've won a contract, you're a sub, but you're not getting any work. Now, a lot of what I'm gonna talk about in this video today are about how to prevent this from happening in the future. And towards the end, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what you can do now to fix this. But if this is happening to you, especially on a regular basis, there's a couple of things that I want you to think about. Number one, what's in your teaming agreement? So when you put your teaming agreement together with your partner, did you put in there for a percentage of work or did you focus on specific tasks? Typically, the companies that struggle to get work are the ones that focus on a percentage of work instead of specific tasks. So let's say an RFP has a five, 10 different sections in it. You wanna focus on the one or two sections where you're really gonna provide the most value to that team and that's the work you want and you wanna outline that in the teaming agreement. So that's one area where a lot of companies struggle. The other area is the actual RFP process. So the proposal process. A lot of times when I talk to people and they're not getting any work, one of the things I'll say is, so tell me a little bit about the proposal process. And what I usually hear is, well, the RFP dropped, uh, we got on the phone, we listened to the phone call, uh, we were assigned a specific section, we worked on our specific section, and then we kind of all came together in the end. Uh, you know, had, you know, and wrap this up. We did, you know, we helped a little bit with the review. That's not enough. You need to be very engaged with the proposal process because the partner looks at that and says, who's engaged? Who's actively working on this with me? And they're going to choose the people that are the most engaged in this process. So you need to be working with that prime to figure out how you can engage them at the highest level to make sure you're getting that work. So here's another thing. You've won the contract, you're kind of going along, and all of a sudden you keep hearing about task orders dropping or that sort of thing. And when you're, when you're in that situation, and the first time you heard of it is when the prime says something, that's a red flag to me that you're not engaged enough with the customer. You need to be engaged with the customer and the prime and know that these things are coming out. That's a really big deal. So you need to engage the prime, engage that customer with them and be really focused on what's coming down because you need to know about this so you can be proactive. Again, these are little things you can do along the way, but a lot of it boils down to communication. So how much are you communicating with your prime to actually make sure you're, you know, you're in line to get some of the work. So I'm gonna give you one tip here if this is happening to you and you've done all of the first few steps wrong. So you, you've made some mistakes and you don't really know how to fix this. So this is gonna really help you. So I, I know this sounds oversimplified because it sort of is. You need to set a meeting with the Prime. Face to face if possible. I know uh, when you're watching this, it may be in early stages of still lockdowns and things like that. But if you can get a face to face, a Zoom meeting, whatever it may be, get on there and talk to them and say, hey, I know we, we weren't quite as engaged enough as we needed to be. Um, you know, spell out some of those things, kind of fall on your sword, if you will, and say, look, we really want to get engaged. We're a partner on this stuff. Here's the trick. I have other opportunities that I'd like to work with you on, but I want to make sure we have a good relationship first. Something as simple as that saying, hey, I, I have other opportunities I want to work with you on, uh, you know, and, and, and be genuine on that. Have a couple of opportunities where you think that this prime would be a really great teaming partner on so that you have that ready to go. I mean, you see how simple that is? Have that stuff ready to go. So you can be able to talk to them and say, hey, let's get this squared away first, this contract we're on. Uh, I know we're you know 60% done with it or whatever it is, but I know there's some work we could still do so that you can see how we really work together. You know, We've made some changes internally. Again, fall on your sword if you have to, but engage that prime and talk to them about the situation, talk to them about future opportunities and rekindle that flame. It's all you can do and really focus on doing that. So if you do that, I think you'll have some great success. I'd love to hear about it when you have a minute and uh, we'll see you next time.